a little level. Um, so she came and I decided to uh, develop a, a personal dashboard. Uh, we haven't had a chance to compile it onto a, a Chrome extension yet. next, but we plan to do that next. So uh, to start off, when you open up, um, once it's compiled to a Chrome extension, it will prompt for the username. So to start off, uh, I have a Shaquem's name on here. And once I press enter to it, um, two of the features is that um, Upon refresh, it will generate a different background every time. And um, we also <coughs> implemented uh, the time on the top right. Uh, the time is based on uh, uh, the, user's, uh, uh, the user's computer time. And uh, the theme of this is to have an, uh, more so of a motivational or inspirational quote on a daily basis that is uh, 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 generated based on, on a click of a button. So here, I just keep clicking on it. Our next step is to implement this in such a way where a new quote will generate based on uh, the browser refresh. So if I were to refresh the browser, it will be a new um, bit once more. Hi. It will be a new uh, background every time. Uh, so next I'm going to transition to Shaquem uh, to talk about uh, the interface and the, and the layout. Okay, so for this um, this extension, this app, we we decided to go with uh, something a little bit different than what you would normally see on the dashboard. Usually, they consist of maybe some pictures of the day that you find on maybe like 500pixels.com or Flickr, <coughs> something that you know uh, encompasses a landscape. So instead of that, we wanted to go with something that was a little more subtle that would allow more. Um, more of our typography to stand out to every group viewer. And so we chose uh, Bokeh, and which is, uh, I don't know where the name comes from, but it just means like blurry dots. <laughs> so um, you can actually uh, photograph, anytime you have a photograph, you photograph at night, and you see some lights in the background, the city lights, but your main focus is something else in view, and those those lights in the background are all blurry and things of that nature. That's bulky. All right, so um, what we had planned on doing, we wanted, how we wanted to structure this was we wanted to have the time over here on the right as well as um, the weather. So we were looking into um, doing an API with Google to where we could match and get the weather for that current place as well. And then um, for our daily quote, we would have uh, that be the center of attention, whatever the quote would be, it would be the center of attention and the, the good morning user would actually be a little less. Because, I mean, in my understanding, is that you know who you are. You don't need the computer to tell you who you are. So let's put that you know, somewhere else where it's not in the forefront. Yet have something more, the reason why you downloaded this thing was for the quote. So let's, well, we plan to have that as the major feature. And then just like Will said, um, have it um, generate a new one randomly on refresh. And uh, if there's anything else you'd like to add or any questions, let's complete our presentation. Yes, I'm in. Which language do you write? Oh, we use HTML, CSS, jQuery, and JavaScript, please. Yes. The, and, okay. Oh, go ahead. Yes. And I remember you wanted to change the rider uh, font or size. Yeah. We actually did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can, oh, you it's actually that? there. So, um, so we had it. But as you can see, that this is um, the weight for the for the um, the author is actually bolder than the weight for this. So that actually lends to it. But there was some issues, this is actually, um, it's actually built a little different, a little more easier to see. And there will be more <coughs> distinction to In JavaScript? <coughs> in JavaScript? Yeah. In yes. JavaScript. In JavaScript. Yes. And you use the code for any sentence or <coughs> no? We have to put uh, the quotes in the author's name in, in an object in JavaScript. And then that would generate it out. Real quick, um, 
he had the better idea for doing that. What I did was actually, uh, in our array of quotes, they were all strings. So what I did was put a break tag and span ID tag around each one. So each one? Yeah, wow. around each one. But his was actually probably better to see and um, also better to execute in that, that, um, in that fashion to keep everything dry. So, uh, so it can be done either way, but you know, there's better ways to do, I think. Any other questions? All right. Thank you. Thank you.